So I am excited. So I figured I'd make a video because it's 9.30 on a Monday evening and I'm still at my office because I couldn't resist installing the new version of the uh, XCPNG, which is the open source Zen server, not Citrix Zen server, just Zen server without the Citrix stuff. Anyways, so for those of you following a project and have heard me talking about it or tweeting about it, I'm gonna leave the links in the comments below so you can get started on this. And I'm gonna do a more in-depth video because I plan to after this kind of comes out of uh, beta to go into production. So I'm moving over on my backup server, uh, backup as in it's a spare to my primary server. Over to this, I've imported VMs from my other server to make sure they work and so far everything's working really well. Now, like I said, what this is, is the folks over at Zen Orchestra uh, realized there was a problem in the market created by Citrix. And I was really excited when I got into the Zen server and started moving everything over to it a while back. And then people said, but they removed features in 7.3 of Zen server. Yeah, they took features out and crippled it and then encouraged you to buy a license only uh, to that. And we even talked to the people at Zen, had some conversation with them, and they said they would take it up with management. Well... I never heard back from that. You know, I guess they took it up with management. Management says, no, we want license fees for all the features you used to have that you don't have now. Now, I don't mind paying license fees for software and things like that, uh, but there was some philosophy differences on they make you register now to even get to the download links. They removed all the old download links. Whatever, if that's the way Citrix wants to play, that's not a problem. Zen is an open source project. The folks at Zen Orchestra took and revived the original code that Citrix was maintaining and then brought it all up to date. So what you're looking at here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I can't really show you this on the uh, computer because I, oh, I only have it installed back here and currently have no way to mirror my screens. So let me get over here and zoom in a little more. So what you're looking at here is the XP 7.4. Now this is my other Zen server. And you notice how much the same they look. They kept the same interfaces. They kept uh, most of it the same. So it looks like this is the Zen server. And there's that. So most of the menus are the same. I'll, I'm going to do a more in-depth review of all this. Uh, show you a little more how it works. But I'm impressed with this so far. Uh, it works great. Now it does not need or is actually not even compatible with uh, the Citrix that you're used to using like if you're used to using the citrix windows tool i forget what it's called the zen manager tool which i don't really use anyways because i use the zen orchestra tool uh it's not completely compatible with it i it doesn't seem to work with it i tried attaching it just out of curiosity and it failed um but that being said you can use this interface to get you set up and then they have a really quick command that automatically automatically scripts and curls i know is that scary pulling things off curl but if you you didn't want to go through the trouble of downloading the ova file and importing it they have a script you run right on the zen server itself after you get it loaded and it puts in zen orchestra zen orchestra gets an ip address you find an ip address in your dhcp server and you're up and running. You can configure this and you've had to load no windows on your computer, so no windows management console to finish setting anything up. Um, Zen Orchestra does ask that you register an email address with them. So there's still that. Uh, pick If you don't have, if you have a privacy problem with that, you know the solution with the Yahoo email address, then pretty much the only reason anyone uses the Yahoo email address. <laughs> Just give them the dumb one. Anyways, give them the spam email address. Uh, so far, it's working really well. I just installed it tonight, so I wait. I, my reviews before I go in depth, I've actually used the product a lot more. But so far, I feel comfortable with it because it looks just like Citrix Zen Server in terms of functionality, in terms of the command line. Uh, and if you're not used to using Zen Server from the command line, you, there's a series of commands you can run to, you know, import, export VMs. I've talked about this in the backups. Uh, in the backup script that I use runs off of that. Uh, once I get done all the testing and importing some VMs and making sure everything seems nice and stable, even though this is not a full release, it's their very first release, but uh, still impressive. They've, they've done a great job with it so far. Um, 
I'll dig into the technical details, but of course I'll leave you a link here so you can see, read for yourself all the things on there. They have the walkthrough for the screenshots for the setup, but it looks in installed just like Send Server did. So the my tutorial on that still fits this, uh, not really any difference, but I will do an entire updated one because uh, you will be, you know, obviously getting it from somewhere else. But if you're interested in trying this, go ahead and do this. I'm also really curious about something else. One of the options it had, I erased the server and loaded a clean because I wanted a clean load on here was an upgrade. I have one more of my servers to do, my one at home, and I'm gonna try the upgrade because if it breaks, they have it all backed up. But uh, that's my curiosity is, will I be able to do the upgrade in place? It had an option for it. I'm excited if it works. If it doesn't work, back up, back up, back up. Always back everything up. I'm gonna back it up before I try it. I have backups all the stuff that's on my uh, home Zen server, and when I do the over, when I do the upgrade, because it will be an upgrade, because I'll get all the features that you lost if you move to the newer version of Zen. I'll be running it at home, and because my home servers are not uh, mission critical, they're just kind of you know stuff I play with at home, and a couple things I have like my Plex server that runs on it. Um, I'll see how it works. And that way, I can actually do some more production use, because they said it's beta, so I'm not quite ready to throw it in my full production machine right here but that's the update on the zen server xg uh x XCPNG, I keep wanting to call it Zen Server XG, but XCPNG product, which is the open source uh, Zen Server project. Go ahead and give it a spin, give it a try. That's it for now. I'm gonna do some more testing and dig it in. If I can if I can find a handful of computers uh, to spare that are fast enough to run it too. It has um, options for high availability and I'm gonna give that a try too. I'm gonna try and figure out where all the feature sets are. I haven't read through every little detail yet. I don't know what they have implemented in absolute total. Uh, so it's, like I said, Work in progress. Go ahead and get playing with it. Um, have fun. Thanks. If you like the content here, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I'll keep you up to date on this project uh, as it keeps coming along.